जीवन Rose of our Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. You're my new instructor. Well, well. Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Lost your nerve. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Va Atra the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Quiet. Ooh, now that's a mentor. 
strong and decisive. Perhaps it's time I took up swordplay. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Changing subjects. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs>